What is up CCD fans? Welcome to the first street event of 2023. We are out here at Industria in Joburg today. It is a Sunday afternoon. There is a lot of people at the event. We've already had three runs in the TDI. Two of which I won and one that I did not win against the 20 valve turbo. Uh, it's just quicker than me and I didn't have gas so I was running on motor only. But it seems to be a fun and packed event. I'm going to tell you guys as much of the cars as possible because I know it's difficult to, to see them on video and to know what's up. But it's also difficult for me just judging the cars as they come through. I mean a 135 and a 150 looks exactly the same. So I will try my best to give you as much info. But stay tuned for an epic event. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button down below and drop a comment. He just asked me to run him. Uh, we were speaking earlier, and he's got a it's a 1.8 Opel motor, it's stock, and he's running 0.9 bar boost. He was telling me, and the car makes about 200 kilowatts on 0.9 bar. But to be honest, he is on street tires, and his suspension looks fairly stock, so I did not think that it was going to be a, a good match for us. But apparently, there's another bucket that wants to race us at Caddy. So I'm gonna drive around and we'll see if the caddy wants to run us. I'll probably let the car cool down just a minute or two after two back-to-back -back runs. <laughs> okay, seems like they're gonna do that one again, but that's the caddy that wants to run me. I'm just letting the car cool down a bit and then I'll give him a run. But what I see is he's... Uh, very early on the arm drop on every race so I'm definitely not gonna sleep on him if I jump him I do I jump him but if I don't then he's gonna jump on me so not gonna sleep on that one for sure Very hard to tell who took that one. They look side by side to me. I could be mistaken.
front you'll probably be able to hear him because I don't have a camera set up to face the front I had a bad launch I had to clutch the car but regardless he outran me and then from third gear he started walking away his third gear not mine his third gear uh, I really wish I had nitros for this run my bottle is empty as you can see I don't know if you'll be able to see but I don't even have the nitros connected because the bottle is empty how I wish I had some nitros for this would have been a completely total or complete different outcome 140 versus a 240 So the 140 in the left lane took that one and it was a lady driver. Okay, so box shape Corolla uh, sounds like a V8 and is on full slicks going up against the M140i lady driver in the left lane. He should actually give the girl the jump because he's on full slicks and they're on street tires. Okay, so in case you guys could not see that, the lady driver in the M140 took the one on that run. Okay, so next up is a B series turbo. I suspect that's a K24, but it's all motor and this is turbo. Okay, so the turbo B passed him down at the bottom. Next up is a RS3 going up against a M2. RS3 all the way down. Okay, so next up we got a 135 going up against the M2. The 135 comfortably takes the win. Next up we got a Mazda Capella, I don't know what motor is in this, it's rather quiet. Going up against that Chef Bucky, that's the one that we ran, the 1.8 turbo, that uh, apparently makes 200 kilowatts. He said his clutch is slipping, so I don't know why he's running again, but uh, maybe after the car cooled down it's a bit better. Let's have a look. So the Capella took that one. I don't know, that bucket is not set up. Something's not like on that bucket. When he come back, when he come back now. Okay, so next up is a Clio Ores going up against the Mach 7 GTI.
Okay, the Golf 7 took that one by Country Mall. I'm not sure why, but the clue wasn't revving up until the guy dropped his arms and then he started revving the car up. So he was slipping on the line. Okay, so next up we got the RS3 again against the BM. <laughs> The RS3 took that one again. The BMW is having a hard time getting off the line. Okay, next up we got the Caddy going up against the Capella. And the Caddy takes that one. Okay, so next up is Hilux D4D against the Chef Bucky. I think this is going to be a better race because, like I told you guys, this Bucky is not yet properly sorted. And Dialux takes the win. Okay, next up is a Mark 5 GTI going up against a Mark 7 GTI. Okay, Left lane, the Mark 5 GTI takes the win. Okay, so next up is the 7 all from uh, Insane Racing. It's definitely a big tower, you can hear the wastegate open when he launched it now. Going up against this RS3, he's done pretty well today, so let's see what happens here. Left lane, the Mark 7R ran around him on the big end. Next up is a 7R going up against the M2. I think the 7R should take it. This guy is having a very hard time getting this car off the line. Left lane, the 7 R takes that one. Turbo B series versus Turbo Mark 1. Left lane, the Civic takes the win. To be honest, I didn't think that golf was turbo. I think it was aspirated. Okay, so next up we got the D4D going up against the... Uh, say slow motion, but it's a V6 Amarok. He should have this one in the back quite comfortably, but let's have a look. I've driven a lot of both on the street and this is faster all day every day. 
but it, it comes down to the driver at the end of the day. So let's have a look. As expected, the Amarok drove out of his life. Fiesta ST up against the Golf 7 GTI. Fiesta ST has the smallest wheels and tires on. <laughs> Left hand lane, the Golf 7 couldn't pass him. So next up is a Golf 7R going up against the A45 AMG. This should be a good one. Not sure what's done to either of them, but I think this should be a good race. So the A45 took that one, but he jumped by a country mile. I don't know if I got that on camera. Very difficult to see, but I'm pretty sure the left lane, the black one, took the win. Okay, so next up is a Magon GT going up against the S3. Rolling around. And funny enough, the Magon GT takes that one. M2 in the right hand lane, left hand lane A45, they're gonna do a rolling start, so this should be interesting because the guy with the M2 is struggling to get it off the line. A45, left lane. Okay, so this golf is going up against, I don't know if it's a 140 or a 135, they all look the same. But this golf is apparently the big boy, yeah. That's the one I raced earlier, he outran me. We were close until he got traction and then he left me in the dust. The BMW took that one. Look at the lines that they drew here. That car has a massive problem getting off the line, but up top it's extremely strong. This golf is crazy fast. All it has to do is get off the line. Once it gets off the line and gets traction, then it goes extremely well. But the Corolla is on full slicks. I did show you guys that earlier. And he's on uh, all 888s. So he should get out on him, but he should be able to catch him. Let's check.
to me it seems like the golf drove around him on the big end but I uh, could be mistaken Penny Golf Turbo against the M2 The golf takes that one. Okay, so the V8 Carola is going up against the M3. Carola took that one by bus lengths. 